Hi everybody. This presentation will cover some additional topics of organic chemistry. We'll also discuss the hydrocarbons including the alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Please remember that alkanes are hydrocarbons which have only carbon-carbon single bonds. They'll also have carbon-hydrogen single bonds. Alkenes are hydrocarbons that are going to have at least one double bond between carbon atoms. Alkynes are going to be hydrocarbons that have at least one triple bond between carbon atoms. Now, a mnemonic device that I like to teach my students to remember the differences between alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes will be to remember the difference of the suffix anes versus enes versus eins. AEY goes in alphabetical order. The A tells us that all bonds in the molecule will be single covalent bonds. The E tells us, because that's second in this alphabetical sequence, that there'll be at least one double bond in an alkene. And then alkynes, Y being the third in the sequence, here we're going to find that there's at least one triple bond in the molecule. Here's an example of a hydrocarbon that has a double bond. We would call this one ethene. It's eth because there are two carbon atoms found in the molecule and the ene ending tells us that there is a double bond present in the molecule. Here's another example of an alkene molecule. This one is called propene. Uh, pro because it has one, two, three carbons. And we can see that the double bond which is present in this molecule is going to reduce the total number of carbons as compared to propane. Here is an example of a hydrocarbon that has a triple bond present between these two carbon atoms. Uh, we would call this hydrocarbon ethine. Please note the Y-N-E ending tells us, that, tells us there is a triple bond. The eth prefix in the name tells us that there are two carbon atoms present in this molecule. Here's an example of an alkyne molecule. We can see that there's a triple bond which has formed between the two carbon atoms. Uh, this molecule would be called ethine, eth because of the two carbons present. And again, we see a reduced number of hydrogens as compared to ethane.